Hello. Hey, Seth. Hi, Mary. Just like, what, two weeks until New Degrassi and New South of Nowhere? Yes, two weeks exactly. Is it? I think so. Yes. God. Yes, two weeks. That was just off the top of the dome. Wow. You're like a calendar like savant. <laughs> totally. <laughs> I'm stoked though. It'll get, a it'll give us something to talk about again. <laughs> yes, exactly. It's always nice when when Degrassi has a new season. And plus, this is like this is like of new seasons. This is like a very new season because we've got a bunch of new characters. And I'm actually I'm pretty stoked about. Well, so we're gonna be talking to Aislinn Paul later on, right? In this call, and she is um, the girl who plays Claire, who was Darcy's younger sister, and uh, she's getting a much more prominent role now that she's in high school mm -hmm. and i'm stoked about her as a character because like you know liberty was always the sort of a little bit straight-laced brainiac but she was always kind of like a side character and i feel like claire is gonna get like a little bit more prominent storylines and i'm in favor of the prominent brainiac on any given show yeah i think so i like seeing smart people on tv i now i'm worried that she's gonna be really irritating claire i mean not <laughs> not 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 aislin uh but claire i mean right uh, which is, we'll know. see. I mean, I think like in the way that a lot of Brainiacs have a little bit of arrogance going on, she might have that. But maybe Casey, the cute skater who's in advanced biology, will Wait, teach her not kissy? to judge. Casey. K Casey. <laughs> oh my God! You just gave him a new nickname. Kissy the Kissy the cute skater. Kissy the Brainiac skater. That sounds like a, a preteen comic book. Kissy the cute skater. <laughs> <laughs> or like a cartoon <laughs> but i also want to say claire in her little uniform wait 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 i'm just in my head i'm hearing the theme song to the cartoon kissy the cute skater kissy the cute skater all right sorry <laughs> he kisses all the girls and makes them cry <laughs> um <laughs> Uh, what were we talking about again? Okay, I was saying that Claire in her little uniform with her little brainiac self is giving me like a very Rory Gilmore vibe, and that I am totally stoked on. Oh, that's cool. Did you ever watch Gilmore Girls? Uh, no, I'm a boy. It's really good. No, I think even boys would like it. Well, maybe not. No, it's a chick show. Never mind. But anyway. <laughs> All right, so we're going to call Aislinn. Aislinn plays Claire. Aislinn Paul is her name. It's A-I-S-L-I-N-N, -N, but we made phone calls and... and and confirm that it's Aislin. Yeah, totally. She, we've never talked to her before, so this is exciting. It will be exciting. Fresh meat. <laughs> Ew. Fresh blood. I'm sorry. Not Ew. <laughs> I'm calling her. Okay. Hello. Hello, Aislin. Hi. Hi. It's Mary and Seth from TheEnd.com. Hi, Aislin. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm Very good. Well. Um, so. How was school today? Because you were basic, you're in high school still, right? Yeah, I was actually on set today. Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> How was set today? <laughs> it was great, actually. We had one scene to do today, so it was pretty relaxed. And then I went to tutoring and I came home. Awesome. So you spent all, all day doing one scene? Was it a long scene? It actually wasn't too bad. Uh, I think it was just about a... a page and a half maybe two pages oh, okay so, of, of the little script so probably like a page in the in a big size script was it a makeout scene are you making out with kc <laughs> uh, no i am not actually um it's actually me and melinda's character ally going to the dot okay can't wait to see that um so like if that's a relaxed day like what's a hectic day like oh a hectic day is one of the days when you have four scenes at least with lines in every single one of them and you don't even have time for tutoring. Now uh -huh. that is hectic. Right. <laughs> now which do you prefer though? Do you prefer the relaxed day? Because I think a relaxed day would get boring after a while, right? Because you'd just be sitting around a lot. Well, I think that I prefer a day in between. I don't like the ones that are so hectic that I don't have time for a break, but I like the ones where I have two or maybe three scenes with scenes in between for me to just relax. Yeah, that sounds about fair. So, I mean, you you were on, like, you're kind of, you know, one of the new major cast, but you've been on Degrassi before because you're Darcy's little sister, or your character is Darcy's little sister. And um, did you know at the time that they were going to be building you into a full character, or was that a surprise? Um, at first, when I got the role, I had no idea where it was going to go, but 
um, my agent was actually thinking that, you know, he's always thinking about future roles and stuff for me. So he was thinking that I might actually get on the show, but I thought that that was just impossible because he kept saying in a couple years, maybe three or four, and I was like, three or four, that's miles away. I, I don't even need to think about that yet. And here it is, and I'm on the show. It's pretty cool. Oh, my God, that's awesome. I imagine agents say that sort of thing all the time, don't they? I don't, I've never had an agent, but I would think that they're always saying those things. Like every time you get a job, they're they saying, They probably oh, yeah. are. I didn't really believe them at the time. Yeah. <laughs> were, you, um, were you a fan of Degrassi before you were on it, or were you, like, too young to watch it before? Well, I wasn't, like, a, a diehard fan, but I definitely liked it. Like, when I saw it on at 7.30 on Mondays or Tuesdays, I'd, you know, I'd watch an episode or two, but... It, it wasn't something that I watched religiously. Have okay. you have you had to go back and watch all the episodes now, or do you does it not does it not even matter? I don't know. I don't really think it matters. I, I've caught up enough uh, through other people telling me about storylines, and from the episodes I was in, I sort of learned a bit about the characters. Right, right, right. right. I will, I will warn you now before the new season kicks in. You're going to have to do your homework and watch them all because people are going to come up to you on the street and ask you bizarre fan questions. And you're going to, and if you don't know, that you're, you're going to, yeah, so just get ready for that. You get called out all the time. And I mean, we've obviously watched the whole show, but like we still are not as good at retaining information as some of the more fervent fans are. And we get called out all the time for making mistakes. Right. So just be prepared. I'm warning you. It can get ugly too. Okay. Cause... I'll make that my homework. <laughs> yeah. all seven seasons and watch them all. all right, there you Add go. that to your pile of tutoring. <laughs> So tell us about Claire. Like, what's what's her deal? Why is she wearing a uniform? <laughs> um, I think Claire is she's a very headstrong girl and has a very strong sense of her moral right and wrong, but is not quite very socially aware and a little bit uncomfortable in social scenes, and so is not really comfortable with her like her expression through fashion she expresses herself through her school so she doesn't really know how to dress fashionably and doesn't want to make the risk of looking unfashionable so just wears her uniform something she's comfortable in right it that's, makes sense that's a clever strategy i go with that now when you say she has a strong sense of her of her morality do you mean as you know, I remember as being her like like sort of the way Darcy was at the beginning, but like way more intense than that. Is that accurate? Yeah, for sure. Like she would never do anything that someone pressured her into doing if she didn't believe that it was the right thing to do. Like she would never be pressured by a boy to do something that she didn't want to do. Right. Right. Do you think she's going to go insane and rebel like Darcy did? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We'll have to see. Yeah. Well, um... In what ways are you similar to Claire, and in what ways are you different? Um, I definitely think I'm similar to Claire in her being a lot more mature than some of the people her age and sometimes not being able to relate to them. Mm -hmm. uh, but I also think we're completely different because I'm so much more laid back than she is. She's pretty uptight and uncomfortable in social scenes, but I'm just totally comfortable in social areas, and I just I can chill and go with the flow, you know? Right, totally. It's fun whenever we get to talk to someone that we've never met before, never had any contact with before. So we have all sorts of like get to know you kind of questions that, uh, that, yeah. uh, but, but I want to ask you about your name first. First of all, we're, we are pronouncing it correctly, right? It's Aislinn? Yeah. Okay. And your name is Aislinn Paul. So do you in school, like throughout your school career, do you have teachers who, uh, like on the first day say Paul Aislinn and then just like Paul, Paul, or does that never happen? No, that's actually never happened, but <laughs> I do have four names. I am Aislinn Claire Tennant Paul, and so um, often people call me Claire, uh, which is ironic because that's I my character's name. I was just going to but... say, that's crazy. That is weird. Yeah. <laughs> um, what about, what's your real family like? Do you have brothers and sisters? I'm actually an only child, but mm. both my parents are actually actors. Oh, really? no way. Yeah. Both my parents are theater actors, and my mom is actually a vocal teacher on her time when she's not working. Really? Yeah. So she trained you from a young age to project and breathe properly and all that? Oh, she doesn't force it on me, but, you know, I, I catch some things here and there. Is that, like, kind of how you ended up in an arts high school? Did they, did they encourage you to go into acting, or were they, like, you know... Well, it, it just sort of happened by chance. When I was little, I used to go with my parents to their auditions and stuff. Um, and uh, and 
we we know quite a few people in the like the casting business and so one day uh the casting director just came up to my mom and said can we have this girl for a commercial so that's sort of how it happened i just sort of did it like that and i did my first commercial when i was seven months old and then my parents thought it'd be a good idea to let me have a bit of a normal childhood and so i didn't act again until i was four <laughs> that was so nice you had too. like three years solid of just like playing in the dirt and not caring <laughs> Yeah, but it it seems to have made a difference because I, um, I think that I I have a bit of a a good thought of what a childhood is, and my parents have done a really good job of making sure that I have all, all the same things that every other kid has and gets to do the same fun stuff that kids get to do. So that's yeah. what happens. Uh, that's what happens when your parents are actors. You go to auditions with them, and suddenly you're, someone just comes along and says, "Hey, we." Uh, want to put this girl in a commercial. Because if I had done that with my parents, they would have come along and said, hey, can this kid sell fax machines? And it just wouldn't have been the same. <laughs> um, so do, but when you watch the show, when your parents watch the show, do they do the thing that I would imagine most parents would do where they're just like, ee, my kid's on TV? Or are they like, oh, you, you didn't hit your mark there? <laughs> oh, no, they're, they're sort of in between. They've, they've, uh, they, they try not to do the squealy thing, but um, <laughs> they, they try not to criticize me as well. They, they try to just be supportive and if I don't want to do anything, then they're not going to force me to do it. But if I want to do it, then they'll support me 100%. So they're really great parents, actually. They're, they're really helpful in the business and stuff. That's awesome. I love to hear about great parents. <laughs> it makes me happy. <laughs> All right. So let's just, like, dig into, like, what your life is like normally and your interests outside of acting. Um, what is your favorite book? Oh no, I have no idea. Really? Hmm. Is well, that because you read too many, or because you don't read many? I I actually I read a lot. I I am not a bookworm, but I read a lot. Um, one of my favorite books when I was in about grade five, uh, my favorite book was called Airborne by Kenneth Opal. It's a Canadian book, and okay. it was one of my favorite books when I was in grade five. And now that I look back on it, the the writing is is pretty childish but it was still such a great story oh why was it your favorite um i think just the story was so fantastical like it was um about this 14 year old boy who's a cabin boy on an airship and oh. it was a mix with um sort of old history but then also a fantastical element to it too because that was like their main form of transportation and they would they had it's it's sort of about this story when he goes on a flight and this girl comes on of course comes on the plane then he sort of falls in love with her and then the airship is actually taken over by air pirates and uh and they crash the plane on this unknown island and all these crazy things happen it's pretty cool air pirates <laughs> i know oh that's great um what about your favorite movie oh my favorite movie Oh my God, I really don't know. Uh, yeah. I, I'm sorry, I'm an indecisive person, <laughs> but I love Johnny Depp in about anything, and Will Smith. Most of his movies I like. Awesome. And uh, I really like adventure movies and stuff like that, but I can't really think of one that's my absolute favorite right now. You totally endeared yourself to Mary by saying that you like Johnny Depp. Mary has a yeah. T-shirt with Johnny Depp's face on it. I've seen her wear. <laughs> Totally true. <laughs> From Crybaby. I don't know if you ever saw that movie. That's like my favorite Johnny Depp movie. All right. Uh, well, I was going to ask you Celebrity Crush, but I think we've pretty much established. <laughs> any any other crush celebrity crushes? on crush? him. Okay. Okay. Any, any, like, any other celebrity crushes? Oh, I don't know. I think it would just, there's some element of, of creepiness to me for, for like liking someone I don't even know, you know? Okay. I, I'm sure that there there are very many celebrities that are very attractive. You just haven't noticed. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. This is um one of our perennial questions, and I'm sorry if it totally takes you off guard, but who smells the best on the Degrassi cast? Who smells best? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Um. Well, Melinda always smells really nice. Okay. And. I don't know. Raymond smells pretty good too. Which one is Raymond? Uh, he plays Sav. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Does that smell really good? Because uh, Melinda plays Allie, who is Sav's younger sister, who is going to give 
Holly J a run for her money, from what I understand. <laughs> it seems like it for sure. <laughs> um, if you could fly or be invisible, which would you do? Oh. <laughs> I think that I would want to be able to fly. Okay. Good answer. Yeah. Because then you could fight the air pirates. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's exactly why. What kind of music do you listen to? Um, I I like to listen to everything except for heavy metal screamo kind of music and <laughs> really heavy country music. I can even deal with like light country, but once you get into the heavy country, can't do it anymore. All right. Can you tell us about Sam Earl, who plays KC, who is the skater boy who's into um, advanced biology, which is like very exciting for me and totally somebody I would have been in love with in high school? <laughs> well, do you want to know about Sam Earl or KC the character? Either one. Either one's fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, KC the character mm -hmm. is... He's a, sort of a little bit of a mysterious boy. You, you don't really find out a, a bit about him until later on in the season. Actually, um, it's coming up in one of the episodes we're shooting right about now. We get some crazy information about our skater boy. Oh, boy. But I can't tell you any of that. <laughs> but oh, um, he's, he seems really sweet, but uh, a little bit like he's hiding some secrets. And he doesn't really like to talk about his past. Interesting. All right, I have this one last question before we, we let you go. So this has relates to what you just said, because you just very professionally told us that you couldn't tell us anything about that episode that's coming up. How do they train you to uh, <laughs> to not tell anything? Because it seems like the, the newest members of the cast are always the ones who are the best at not saying anything. Do they give you some sort of boot camp where they like fire off questions at you and just have you say, I can't tell you anything about that? <laughs> no, it's just, I think that because we're new, we're, we're a little bit more conscious of the fact that we can't tell anybody but it was actually really funny me and melinda we were sitting in the reception of epitome pictures today mm -hmm. and they were actually doing a casting session and we were talking about the scripts and as loud as she possibly could she blurts out the main subject of the of the like of the storyline of the scripts right in the middle of the room and it was the, the funniest thing I had all day. It was pretty entertaining. So Ali will be written out of the remainder of the season, <laughs> I think. Well, I hope not. Oh. All right. Thank you so much for talking to us today, Aislinn. Yes, you thanks. are a total oh, No problem. It's so much fun. Awesome. Um, have a great day tomorrow, and we look forward to meeting you sometime in New York, hopefully. Yeah, I look forward to meeting you guys, too. Okay. Great. Um, good luck with the rest of the season, and good luck with school. Thank you. All See right. ya. Bye. 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 Um, did you catch the part where she kind of called me a freak for <laughs> having crushes <laughs> on celebrities? No, I don't think she called you a freak. I do think that she was saying that she couldn't do that and she thought it was strange. I know a couple people who are like, they're, you know, you ask them who they think is hot, uh, famous people, and they're, hot, and they're like, I don't know. I don't know them. I can't, I can't decide that. And it seems very strange to me. But hey, you know, I guess that's an admirable quality. Yeah, like, I, I don't know what Johnny Depp smells like. How, how would I know if I want to make out? <laughs> <laughs> that also raises a very good point, which I <laughs> guess that Johnny Depp does not smell very good at all. I, I bet he has his moments. You know, for when he gets all duded up for, like, the Oscars and stuff, yeah. But, like, uh, I, when I see pictures of him just, like, out on the street, it doesn't look like he smells good. But I think it's more one of those, like, I think he has, like, a musk, like, an odor going on, but I don't think it's a bad smell. Like, I don't think he smells unclean. I think he has that little bit of French sweat. <laughs> you know what we call that thing? We... The <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what we call that? That's that's called B.O. That's what that's called. <laughs> well, then sign me up for Johnny Depp's B.O. <laughs> All right. How, did, how is it that I'm now talking about the intricacies of Johnny Depp's aromas? Because you're talking to me, baby. Um, <laughs> Maybe we should hang up. Now. I also want to clarify, I don't think Aislinn directly called me a freak. I just mean that, you know, I don't want her to oh, be upset oh, she, that I'm teasing she just, her. she just text messaged me and it says, <laughs> who is that freak? I just mean, without knowing me, she indirectly called me a freak. But anyway. <laughs> I to, yeah, tell me about it. <laughs> All right. Um... I will talk to you next week, Mary. Why okay. will it be only one week before New Degrassi? Awesome. All right. I'll talk to you next week. Bye.